Welcome back, it's your host GF, Toronto Maple Leafs Weekly Recap. <sighs> Hockey Night in Canada just finished. But let's start with the bright spots. Monday, Matt Sundin, home and away. SFW doing what he does, coolest guy in every room. Not that that's a hard thing to do in those rooms, but no, no. Shout out to Matt Nickel, Amy Stewart, you guys are all the best. And obviously the man, Matt Sundin, who is still the GOAT. Maybe Matthews one day, maybe. We're still playing, still got a lot to do. Okay, 5-2, least pumped them. I mean, what can you say? Chased Andre Vasilevsky from the game. Amazon Prime, I was down there, I missed the game. I missed the game, they usually pump. But then I missed the game Tuesday, because <laughs> I have volleyball 6-2, and that's where things start to go south. Um, leaving the goalies out to dry. Hill to be, you know, he doesn't have a lot of starts. He had a bad start, no doubt, but the team in front of him, dog shit. Forwards, defense. And that continued on Thursday night. 5-1 loss to the Blues. Craig Berube against his old team. Joe Wall's first start back. Hung him out to dry too. Terrible. So, you know, before we uh, talk about tonight's game, everyone's got to stop blowing their load on this Chris Tanev and, and, and OEL and all that McCabe. Guys, they're old. They don't look that good consistently. We are a very, very inconsistent blue line. Sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it looks shit. The only consistent thing has been the goaltending. Shout out to Stolars, and we'll get into tonight's game. Another great start for Stolars, 4-3. First time he allowed more than two goals. Hung out to dry on all four. Uh, Leafs big guns were struggling, but top line was very solid tonight. Matthew Nyes, Austin Matthews. Not with the goals, he's still a little snake bit. He got one late, he needed that, but they will come. But he had the assists going. Mitch Marner was dangling tonight. Great, great pass, great sauce pass on the Riley goal. Riley usually doesn't score goals like that. If he scored more goals like that, guys like me wouldn't be on his ass. But in the end, they needed to get at least a point. Down 3-2, tied it up late. Matthews needed that. Great play. Tavares, cross-ice pass to Mitch. Great play in front of Matthews. Finally got it in. When was the last time we got three goals past Jeremy Swayman? So again, I try to mix in some positive you know, numbers and eye tests. But, you know, I'm negative sometimes, but again, if I'm telling the truth, what is it, man? That's, that's what I got to do. And they're, uh, you know, the, the whole good start to the season, that's over with. So and it, it's an extension of the preseason, but they are now 4-4-1. and one. Hey, man, that's your regular season, preseason. It's over. Barube, keep juggling the lines a bit. I'd keep the top line intact, but the second and third line... You got to figure it out. You got to figure out where you want JT, where you want Domi. Domi doesn't have a goal. Um, you know, so they, 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 they still have a lot to work on, but Joe Wall is back. Stolarz deserves to get a few more starts. We'll see how that goes next week, but the Leafs do have to pick it up. The standings are going to be tighter this year, but at least they didn't totally embarrass themselves in Boston. But once again, the Bruins, OT, their fans go home happy. On to next week. Go Leafs.